Hey guys and welcome back to Factorial with a Roomba. How's it going, man? Oh, it's going alright. How you doing? Uh, I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Although I did just realize that I've been recording in 30 FPS. Nice. Why Why yeah. were you Why were you doing that? Because I stream in 30 FPS. Really? Yeah. I stream I stream at 60 just because I don't I don't know. I mean, they give you they give you source quality. If If someone has good internet, they can they can watch it at 60. And yeah. if they don't, then they can't, so it's it's not really my problem, right? But they don't allow you to change FPS on the fly. Hmm. Which sucks. Like, they should just be like, yeah, I want to watch it in 30 FPS. It's like, okay, we'll just skip every second right. frame. I guess maybe I'm a bad streamer. I, The way I see it, it's like, if it's not good enough quality for you to watch, like, you, you're not enjoying it, you could either watch the VOD or go watch it on YouTube. <laughs> you know? It's <laughs> such a dick. I mean, it's going to be available in higher quality later anyway, so, I mean, yeah. it, it's it's your call. Either you want to be there and be part of the experience, or or whatever. I don't know. Yeah, maybe you're just a bad streamer. It's <laughs> probably true. Anyways, um, so, so right now, yeah. what's happening here, since you have ignored Petrochem pretty much completely, except for your washing plants and don't mud. Even. You've been playing don't in the mud. Fucking even. Is uh, we got this ridiculously large area of stuff, um, and we are turning our excess base mineral oil, which is now actually gone, first, okay. firstly into lubricant up here. So we got like 40k lube up that way, and I don't think I actually set any kind of a pump to guarantee that this doesn't do things stupidly. So I should have done that because that should definitely be. I think lubricant should be higher priority than uh Okay, yeah, you sort that, that's fine. Making it pretty. Making it pretty. E. And we'll wire this guy up. Okay. I was like, wait, why is there a fucking random piece of belt here? And then I Actually, seen the massive um... inserter. I don't know why you done it that way though, instead of just like changing the offset and then bringing it forward one. So oh, if, if the lubricant is less than, it should be less than another thing, a like a dynamic thing. So if lubricant is less than, say, syn, because the thing it's being turned into is the synthetic gas. So if lubricant is less than syn gas. Oh, this base oil has been turned into the syn gas. So if lubricant is less than syn gas, then I like how it's all wired up though. That's nice. No, it should be the other way around. If lubricant is greater than syn gas, then we're gonna crack it down. All right. So so, so anyway, yeah. So we got some lubricant in case we need it for engines and robots and stuff. Um, that comes over here to become syn gas, which we're kind of already running a little bit low on. The syn gas gets ferried back down into these machines. You know, these, these machines create syn gas. These make it. Uh, the syn gas still... is going nowhere. Uh, no, it does. It's being consumed by something. Um, right here. Oh, it okay. pulls back. This oh, of course. Connection comes over to here, and now the syn gas is being used to make napper. mixing it with uh, red metal catalysts, which is just iron ore and copper ore to make more naphtha. The naphtha. Iron ore and copper ore, which has been brought by hand. Uh, did it? Yes. I, I bust it up north. I wonder why I didn't bust it over here. Or belt it, rather. Because you're, I mean, <laughs> you're lazy. There's still a pretty good hefty supply there, though. I'll, I'll go grab some. But anyway, um... It's things like that that I'm like... If you did end up robot in that, I couldn't even be angry. Yeah. Now, it's like, fuel, fuck it. Fuel oil, I think is blocking production of some other stuff. So we got to decide what we want to do with this fuel oil. Oh, and we're making some enriched fuel blocks here. Some, but I didn't know if, I, I don't remember making these in the last time I played it. So I don't know if they're, they only stacked at 20. They are kind of fun to drive with. Oh, really? But, yeah, because <laughs> Yeah, but I don't <laughs> know. Show that in the train. Let's see with uh, what's it really used for. Fuel oil can be used for anything else. So fuel oil is an ingredient in liquid fuel, which is how we make the, the stuff. 
it can be used to make solid fuel directly, which seems kind of silly, isn't it? You can make fuel oil into solid fuel directly instead of making it into liquid fuel first. Oh, I see. So you take 50 fuel oil plus one coke and you get two solid fuel. Oh. Versus the other recipe that we're doing where we're taking 30 to get an enriched fuel block, which is still worth 100, though. Wait, what? That's more fuel value. Was the enriched one? Yeah. Because oh. it's because it's only thirty f liquid fuel instead of fifty. Well, so why, why would we not want to use enriched fuel blocks? I don't know. Wait, can we actually make canisters? Holy crap! Canisters are back in the game. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, remember those from Bob's? We can actually make uh, liquid fuel canisters. A liquid fuel canister is what? Not something we can craft yet. <laughs> but someday. Uh, advanced oil processing, maybe? No. Nitrogen? No. Nuclear power? No. Chemical processing. Oh, hey, that's cool. Chemical processing, which is unavailable, is the thing that allows us to make enriched fuel blocks, which we're already making. Shh. <laughs> don't tell anybody <laughs> uh, I I don't even see a recipe that would unlock the the fuel thing what was it called? it was called a canister can oh I, I don't know I don't think that it, liquid fuel canister No, no, I think that that's just like a hidden recipe that's not supposed to be actually available. Alright, what else can we do with fuel oil? We can make flame bullet projectiles, flaming rocket warheads, flamethrower ammo, shotgun flame shells, steam cracking fuel oil to, to sin gas. Sounds like the thing to do. Oh, crack it down into the sin gas, gas to make it into more naffa because we don't need it. Unless we start using these fuel blocks for shit. Actually, I might, I might do that just now. You want to try wiring that up to power or something? No, well, I need, I need some fuel down here, but just like some blocks of whatever. So. I'll pull down some of those fuel blocks instead of using the coke yeah. pellets. They only stack to 20, but each one is 100 megajoules, so it's actually 2,000 megajoules. That's more than a stack of coal. Of, uh, coal. 200 coal at 8 it would only be 1,600, so it's actually pretty damn good. I can't believe how little power we have that's supplying the entire fucking base. It's just because the base does nothing right now. <laughs> yeah, we haven't had to worry about power this entire game. Right, I should... Need more big electric poles. keep getting comments asking me about like, oh, what mod is it that adds the inventory the way that you use it? It's like, it's weird that that's been a base thing for so long, but nobody's noticed. Yeah, we both took to it pretty, pretty heavily recently, but I only took to it because of the streamer who was breaking world records and said that it was easier for him to use. But that makes a lot more sense in vanilla, granted. Yeah. Because in vanilla, there's a whole lot fewer entities.
Okay, this shit's actually producing now. Hey, look, what do you know? We actually don't have enough steam to run all these machines. That's kind of surprising. What? It's got water. It's got fuel. How is it possible that this thing is not putting out enough steam? Weird. Fucking measuring tape. It's pointless. Why did it get added? What? I want to know. I want to know what the use case is for the measuring tape. I don't know who the fucks went. Hey, can you add a measuring tape, please? Who was who was the dick? Who said that? That was Angel. <laughs> but of course it was. All right, so a boiler makes steam independent of like temperature, right? Sure. The water oh, comes yeah. in at 15 degrees Celsius, comes out 165 degrees. The temperature shouldn't matter for these these cracking recipes. This seems to have solved it, but now when we get down to here, all right, it's like a base mineral oil. And then the residual gas is what's being routed back up to make the lubricant, so that won't overflow. All right, syngas. Never did do much with acid gas. Or the mineralized water. There you go. Alright, that's a bit neater. And now I'm like, oh, I could squish all of that one. No, no, it doesn't need to be squished in. Fuck it. So, like two episodes ago, I came down here because you said something, something. We have chlorine. Where's the chlorine? I need gold. Did I say that? Yeah, you said there was chlorine down here. Is there? I don't know. Is there chlorine down here or not? I don't know. Damn it. Anyway. Yeah. Tons of multi-phase oil up there. Okay, so I'm now making clay, lots of fucking mud, because reasons, sand, limestone, okay, I need, it, to make, I need to make lime, as far as I remember. Is it just me, or does it sound like you're starting to uh, prepare to embark on a dwarf fortress expedition? <laughs> need, oh, I need, I need some, one, yeah, one yeah. Blast furnace. I'm gonna need a flux oil, or sorry, a flux mineral. Uh, I need at least, uh, you know, no aquifer. <laughs> it's very important. I don't want to deal with an aquifer this time around. It's too much work. Okay. So I've got that. Now where's my fucking? Do you need carbon dioxide for anything? Not right now, no. I needed it a while back, but... Are you using some? Right the second? No. Can I, like, pipe up some carbon dioxide, or...? I don't know I don't what's really gonna care. happen if I do this. Okay, it was fine. It was I'll fine. I'll just vent it. It's fine. 
Carbon dioxide is semi-useful. Is this, is this a byproduct of this whole washing plant thing down here? Yeah. So you got, what is that, sulfuric wastewater I see? No, that's what? just concentrated mud water. No, it's Great. just definite muds. <laughs> Don't you worry. <laughs> uh, let's see. So, wait, what? I need to know specifically what type of it's carbon dioxide. That's what I said. Uh, I know, but there's carbon monoxide, which, for whatever if reason, I said that I had carbon monoxide. I'd have told you. <clears throat> I know that, Steve Joe. It's just that sometimes I get confused between whether or not the thing I need is the monoxide or the dioxide. That's the this, dioxide. this guy up here wants monoxide. Look. So wait, did you say monoxide or dioxide? No, I've I've got dioxide. Son of a gun! All right, yeah, I need monoxide. But you are creating dioxide up here. Why so you're this... doing this. You're doing this thing here that uses coal and these liquefiers to create dioxide. We're already totally out of syn gas. That stuff went by quick. We need to process the the acid gas. No, 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 no. Gold. Where is the chlorine, Stejo? Where is the chlorine? This is, this is, this could be chlorine. Chlorine was to the east, I remember that. But I thought there was chlorine over here too. I'm just gonna flare it off. I was going to do a pipe thing, but nah, I'm just gonna flare it off. Flaring is a very good approach actually, yes. It's a lot of saline water. Saline water can be used to make- Hey, look, chlorine! There's shit tons of chlorine over here. Told you there's chlorine. Yeah, but you didn't say where. No, I just told you there was. This is gonna make so much gold. You ready? Okay, I have... All the required necessities to make what I need. And what you need is a what? What are you making that's special that I'm gonna be jealous of? Clay bricks. Oh god. Clay bricks. I'm gonna put them everywhere. All over the ground. I need four... Mm. After Machine Mark 3s. Unburnt clay brick. I have gold plate. Ah, that's something that I would like to test. So you know how you were saying about the the speed of the inserters? Yeah. When you just leave them? Mm -hmm. I'm not sure how that works when it comes to placing it in a factory. It depends on the inserter. You know how there's that 3x3 that three three grid? All right, this is actually a really interesting little experiment that you can do. Where are you? I'm down here by my factories. All right, this is fun. I like this. We just did this actually earlier today. Those biters are really close. You should go murder them. Where that are- sounds... God, you're so far away, Stejo. Where are you? I can't find you. You're blending in with your stupid color. Alright. Ready? Cause look at them. Look at the way the inserters move. Look at them. You see it? Wow, 
Whereas if you make them longer, they move a lot quicker. Well, it's because you're doing it wrong. What do you mean? It's supposed to be this, this, and this are equivalent. You've got one that's going three down to one. That's why he's oh, slow. So, so three down to one is slow, but two down to one isn't. Correct. Two to one is fine. One to one is fine. Oh, okay. One to one, uh, two to two is fine. But but this, this up here, I don't know if you've seen this, is a very interesting little experiment that you can do. Um, so you know how you got this offset grid thing? <clears throat> yeah. Oh, no, you showed me this one. Oh, did I? Shit. Yeah, seen it. Seen it. Old news. No, I want you to see it again. It's no, super fast. News. Ready? No, uh, old news. See you later. No! <laughs> <laughs> Ah, you dick. <laughs> <clears throat> I hate you. I'm leaving. I'm gonna go play in my vat of chlorine. You realize we have like 500,000 chlorine, I think? Yeah, I know we had a load. <clears throat> I just doubled the storage size of the tanks, so I'm gonna go swimming in it. Oh, I'm making two steel furnaces when I've got like 69 of the fucking things. That's smart. Anyway, I've got gold now. I'm happy. Gold for days. And I'm going to use it to make module contacts in an assembly machine. So proud of you. You should be. But unfortunately, that's all we've got you, time for in this episode. <clears throat> you are always, always the guy that, that won't let us just play the game. Yeah, you know? You play for ages. I do. I've been, I have been playing a lot today. It's true. Right. Anyway. As always, fine, thanks all for watching. Fine. I've been Steve. You've been awesome. Fine. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Alright, see you guys.